This is the second part of lesson 7.4. This is 7.4b. We're going to talk about time to the minute and using the words after and to the hour. We know that each time the minute hand moves to the next little line, a minute has gone by. And we can tell time to the minute by seeing where the minute hand is pointing. We can skip count by fives and that'll help us go faster. We saw in the previous video that when the minute hand is pointing to the one, then it's at the five. When it's pointing at the two, it's at 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Well, we can tell time to the minute. We can skip count by fives and then count on each one minute increment. And I'll show you. If the minute hand is pointing in between here, we would see that it's at 10 and then say 11, 12. Okay, so let's look at this. We saw this in the previous video. We know that when the minute hand is pointing to the 12, it's o'clock. And wherever the hour hand is pointing, it tells us which o'clock it is. So this would be 8 o'clock. On a digital clock, we'd see an 8 and a 0 and a 0. And this would be either 8 in the morning or 8 a.m. Or it would be 8 in the evening or 8 p.m. We could also say 8 at night. Okay. We also saw that when the minute hand is pointing to the one, we know it's five minutes after eight. We can also say it's five past eight. I'll explain that a little bit more in a minute, okay? Or a couple minutes, right? Now, we know that if it was pointing at the one, it would be five minutes after eight. Now look where it's pointing. It's two lines past the one. So that's five, six, seven. Now it's seven minutes after eight. We can also say it's seven past eight if we want to say it quickly. That would be 8.07. When we go from 8.01 to 8.09, we say the word O here. That's how we do it in English, okay? Now look, we know that when it's the minute hand is pointing here, it would be at the 5, this is the 10, and that's the 15. But now look where the minute hand, minute hand is pointing. Here's the 10, that would be 11, 12, 13. See? It's not at the 15 yet, it's at the 13. That's 13 minutes after 8. We can also say 13 past 8. 8, 13. Now the minute hand really moved. Now it's over here next to the 7, in between the 7 and the 8. That would be, if we counted by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. We count by fives, and then when we get to close to it, then we count by ones until we get to where it's pointing. That's 8.37, 37 minutes after 8. Now, we normally wouldn't say that many minutes after 8. You could say 37 past 8, but... Usually people say 23 to 9. Look at how that happened. Here's 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23 minutes before 9 or to 9. We're going to talk about this. Maybe this will make more sense. Now look, it's not quite 9 o'clock. It almost is. The minute hand's about to be at the 12, so it'll be at the o'clock. But this is at, this is, 11 is a 55, 56, 57, 58. It's 858 for the time. You could say it's 58 minutes after 8, but people don't generally say that. They would say it's 2 minutes before 9 or 2 minutes to 9. In 2 more minutes, it'll be 9 o'clock. See? So they just say it's 2 minutes to 9. So, let's take a look at this. We can say what time it is by using the words after or past for the minute hand when it points to minute 1 through 30. The minute hand is pointing to minute 1 through 30, we would say after or past. You could say 7 minutes past 8 or 7 past 8 o'clock or 7 past 8. You could say 7 minutes after 8. Usually people might say 7 after 8 or 7 past 8 to shorten it. 
we can say what time it is by using the words to or before for the minute hand when it points to minute 31 to minute 59 on this side of the clock. If the hour, if the minute hand was pointing to the 8, we could say it's 20 minutes to 9, 5, 10, 15, 20. It would be 20 minutes to 9. You could say 20 to 9 or 20 minutes before 9 or 20 before 9. So let me show you on my big clock here. If the minute hand is pointing to minute 1 through minute 30, we can say minutes after or minutes past. It's 5 minutes past, it's 10 minutes past, it's 12 minutes past, it's 20 minutes past, it's 22 minutes past, it's 30 minutes past. So when it's on this side of the clock, we say after or past. As soon as the minute hand gets around here, let me turn my minute hand. As soon as the minute hand gets to minute 31, that would be right here from this point going all the way up to here, that's when we would say minutes two or minutes before. Or you might just say two or before, all right? So this would be 29 to nine. Most people would say 831 though. Generally people start saying two when it gets around the eight, they say 20 to nine. 15 to 9, 10 to 9, 5 to 9, like that, okay? So remember that this side of the clock is after or past the hour, and this side of the clock is to or before the hour, all right? So if someone says to you, it's 10 past 8, you know they're saying it's 8, 10. It's 10 minutes past 8 o'clock, all right? And if they say it's 10 minutes to 8 or 10 minutes to 9, you know that it's the minute hand is right here. There's 10 more minutes until it's at the o'clock, okay? All right, we're going to continue talking about how clocks are divided and split up. And did you know they're actually split into half hours and quarter hours? And that's what we're going to talk about next, all right? Have a great day. I hope I see you at the next video. Bye.